everyone, welcome back to my channel. Before we get started, I would like to thank the traditional owners of the lands on which we're gathering today. I would like to pay my respects to elders past, present and emerging and extend that respect to all Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people. Alright, well if this is any giveaway, I have a small little ASOS haul to give for you. Um, sorry about the mess. My setup isn't usually this bad. It's not usually good, but it's, it's not usually this bad. Renovating the old kitchen and uh, this is the storage room Which is great because I have so much space to begin with um, Anyway, I have the stuff from ASOS. It's been sitting here for like over a week and I've been itching to get into it And I might want to wear some of it to work tomorrow. So I was like it's 8.30 at night, but I'm gonna film a video <laughs> Here we are. I'm not a night person. I'm a morning person if you watched my last video. I'm very much a morning person. I've got a dress, I've got a top and pants, and I've got a pair of shoes, which I've already worn and already loved. So, you know, spoiler alert. It's okay, Gordy. It's okay. It's all right. When yoga mats attack. You're right? I know. Gordy's going to help me because now he's scared of the yoga mat. All right, well, let's, let's just get into it. This is an enormous bag, more than ordered shoes as well. All right, top, pants, and dress. Let's do the dress first, hey? You okay with that, Gordy? So the dress is from ASOS's own brand, and it's a long sleeve red, is it called a shift dress? Is that what it's called? Tiered smock dress. In the color below, it's size 18, and I don't remember how much it costs, so I'll put everything up on the screen. All right, I'm gonna put this on. I don't really know how to feel about this dress. Um, it's really big on the shoulders. Like, is it meant to be off the shoulder? The arms are really tight, but it, I mean, it's nice and oops, nice and loose, I guess. And the boots. Right? Right? I know. Do I like this dress? Am I gonna wear this dress? I don't know. My camera's at such a weird level, just like don't even. The dog is in a way. It's not set up normally because I have no space. I know it's meant to be big and flowy, but am I put a move it about with it? And look in the mirror because I don't have a mirror in here. You coming in? On your mat. On your mat. It's much better with a belt, right? Significantly better. I my body shape just needs some kind of waist definition. Otherwise, I end up looking like a potato. Not that there's anything wrong with potatoes, but I don't want to look like one. I still, I don't like that it's tiered so soon after the neckline because it tears me at my nipples and it would do so to anyone with a chest. But let me walk a bit closer so I can see. Is it a deal breaker? I don't think it's a deal breaker. I don't think this was expensive. And I love the look with the boots and the belt, actually. I think this is kind of cute. And I think I need to take a selfie for Instagram. What you doing? What you doing? Queen, what you doing? What you doing? What you doing? I don't know if I'm gonna keep this or not. I really don't. Gordy, should I keep it? I like some of the photos, I don't like others. Am I gonna wear this? I don't know. Maybe I'll put an Instagram story out. Anyway, let's move on. Do you wanna go out? I'm closing the door, do you wanna come back in? I'm closing the door. Gordy. He wanted to come back in. All right. These don't necessarily go together, but I got a cute little top and a cute pair of pants, which are definitely going to go with these boots if they fit. 
So the top is from Wednesday's Girl, and I'm always... Oh, Wednesday's Girl is pretty cute. Shout out to Trina Louise for being obsessed with Wednesday's Girl. This, I, I bought all this when it was much cooler, okay? I know it's very hot right now, even though I've had a cool couple of days, but... Little long sleeve, stripey rib knit. Um, size 18 again, I think, yep. And this is another ASOS brand. Uh, Curve Long Line Flare in Camel Check. They are not stretchy. They are like a cottony pair of pants. Let's see if they fit. Let's start with the top. I'm just going to crouch here. Kind of. The top is adorable. It's nice and stretchy. It feels like it's very good quality. It doesn't gape open too much. Although it does a little bit, but overall it fits. It's a nice cropped length. It's not like right under my boobs, you know? It's got a little bit of length to it. I like this top. This is exactly what I wanted. I'm obsessed with these pants, but they only just fit. Just. And for whatever reason, it's my left thigh. They fit, but my left thigh it's just a little tight. I can still feel the very tip of my thigh, thigh rubbing, but that might be my imagination. Look how high waisted these are. And they're a little flare. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but these are the coolest pants I've ever owned. I love these pants. Love, 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 love. They only just fit, but I'm keeping them because they still fit. And, oh, can we do a sit test? It's not too bad. It's not great, but it's comfortable enough. I'm not in pain, and my leg, my pants haven't broken, which is nice. I will note, there is a bit of gaping at the back. What size did I buy? I bought these in a UK 20, specifically for my thighs but then they are a little bit big around my waist, but that is just the trade-off I think I have to make with pants, is that if I want them to fit my thighs, I'm gonna have to size up and hope that it's good enough on the rest. What do you think? I am obsessed. I'm obsessed. They look very cool with these boots, again. This top doesn't really go with it, but that's fine. Let me put on a different top. Oh, it's just a white t-shirt. Is this not a look? Oh, hi. Okay, my hair's starting to really annoy me now. I totally forgot to stop recording while I was like changing, taking photos and stuff. Anyway, I've used a lot of memory today. These pants have actually loosened up a little bit while I've been wearing them. They've become much more comfortable. They are staying. Finally, I can keep a pair of pants that I bought online. Oh, that feels good. So, uh, ASOS, surprisingly good in the pants department for me today. If your thighs are any bigger than mine though, you're gonna have to size up again, like if you're even more thigh heavy than me. If you are not, then just, you're fine, luckily, with these pants. Um, that dress, I still don't know, I love the color and I love the concept. I just feel like it wasn't pulled off very well. This bit was so loose. It's probably just too big. But then if I went down a size, the arms would be like, way too tight. Like, they were already like, barely fitting, you know? The Wednesday's Girl top was obviously very cute. I'd like to try some of their dresses, um, but I wanna wait till the ones I like are on sale instead of just buying the ones I like full price or the ones on sale that I don't really like that much. If you know what I mean. Dress was a disappointment for once. Usually the dresses and I are best friends. Anyway, that was my tiny little ASOS order. Three really great items. The shoes, the pants, the Wednesday's girl top. I loved all three of those. The dress, I think I might put an Instagram story up. You're looking at this in the future, so if you've already seen it, hi! What did I do? 
Because if I'm going to send it back, I'm going to send it back soon. And then is it even worth sending it back? How much should I pay for it? I'm going to stop rambling and I'm going to go. Thanks for watching. If you got this far, you're the best. Please like this video if you haven't already. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already as well because we're a little family and the more people that subscribe the better I feel and the more likely I am to want to make videos like I did tonight where I made loads and by loads I mean two which is a lot of time guys so I started at like seven and it's like nine yeah yep I love online shopping is there any places you would suggest that I might be able to find cool pants it's now getting to that time of year where I'm only gonna get maybe one or two wears out of these before you know game over it's too hot um, so I'm gonna start looking at more dresses and summery kind of stuff for, for Australia, Southern Hemisphere stuff, you know. Um, so if you want me to try anything in particular, I'm gonna start gravitating towards that stuff. I was thinking maybe you and all might be a fun, fun place to try. Shein, because they're one of the few online retailers that go worldwide that market from the sun of the southern hemisphere for us. So their, sh their Shein Australia website actually show is showing spring stuff at the moment, whereas you go on like Fashion Nova and you know, Pretty Little Thing or whatever, and it's all uh, autumn stuff at the moment, which is beautiful and I love it, but not very weather appropriate. So, yeah. So yeah, I'm thinking maybe you and all on Shein next, but if there's any others that you think I might like, let me know. Um, I want to try and find some stuff that I can transition from work to not work. So like cool dresses that are really cool and cute, but you know, aren't mini dresses and have a little sleeve, you know, like we're not supposed to wear, it doesn't say you can't wear singlets at work. It says you can't wear uh, like spaghetti straps. But I feel kind of weird wearing a singlet there now. I don't know why. Maybe I'm just getting old. <laughs> so that's my that's my next project. And I would like a button-down billowy white shirt. To like, can you imagine that like tucked into these pants with like a black tank underneath and like a cool belt? Because this has belt loops. Yes, it does. I'm gonna okay, this is taking too long. I'm gonna go. Thank you very much for listening to me ramble. I love every single one of you. You're all amazing. Gordy loves you too. He is no longer afraid of the yoga mat. Have a wonderful weekend or whenever you're watching this. Just have a wonderful time. I love you all. Bye.